Hello and welcome, this is Jerry Klein. We're going to play a little bit of Fatal Labyrinth for the Sega Genesis. First, we're going to talk to everyone in town. Because that's what you do in a dungeon crawler RPG. Alright, here we go. We're off to Castle Dragonia. So, Fatal Labyrinth is a roguelike. It takes place in this tower, and um, it's a very tough Genesis game. Fun, but tough. Kind of simple as well. Okay, so you see, it's basically turn-based. The enemies move when I take a turn, so... I'm going to walk over and pick up some items and hopefully kill this flying eyeball. I'm basically just running into it with a direction to, to hit it. So you don't even have to actually hit an attack button, it's basically just go in a direction and press against it with a control pad. See, there's a little bit of, like, fog of war on the map here. There's some armor I can get and equip. So you see to the left of the stairs, those lead to the next level, but I'm actually going to explore this level a little bit more and uh, see if there's anything I can't find, because there might be some more weapons or armor or food or stuff around. Like that, there could just be tons of enemies too. And it just leveled up, I think. Looks like. My health is not looking good already. These guys are tough. So yeah, the dungeons and stuff are randomized, which make things really tough. So I killed that one guy, but my health is at 21, so it's not looking great. Yeah, I'm basically almost dead, and I don't have any healing potions or anything, so maybe I can run out of here, but... See, my health slowly, with each step, or each few steps, I do gain a couple points of health back, but that's not much. Yeah, I'm just going to get out of here. I think and head on to level 2. Or 
Okay, so now I have a little bit of leather body armor and stuff like that, so that's good. See, my health is already back up to 32 and climbing, so... You see, every few steps as I move around, I gain a couple extra points, which is good, but, you know... Yeah, not doing great. The thing about this is the items and stuff are randomized, so potions and staffs and stuff like that... They may do different things. There's also a lot of items that are cursed, so... That's something you also have to sort of be careful of. Well, there you go, there's a... There's the end of that level already. That did not take much at all. Let's see what else is around here. Here I'm going to show off the food mechanic, so I'm going to eat that food. You see the F for food went from 2 to 22. Uh, interesting thing about this game is the food itself, the amount, is randomized. And you can actually eat yourself to death. And by eat yourself to death, I mean you can literally overeat and die. So overeating is an interesting mechanic. There's not, not too many games I can think of where you can eat yourself to death. There's a magic scroll. I don't know what that does again. You see if I go in the menu, it doesn't tell me, so I don't know. See, it's a mystery. Until I use it, then I can discover it, and I'll know what all black scrolls in this world does. So now I'm a level 2 ranger, so that's good. Making a little bit of progress here. Kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place, so let's find out what this scroll does. Oop, that's not what I want to do. The monsters are confused. Okay. I think this guy respawned, which I wasn't aware that, that was a thing, but I guess it is, apparently. Yeah, being put to sleep sucks in this game. I'll walk around just a little bit, get my health up. There we go. And I think that's all for this level. I believe the game saves every four levels, so... This is level two, I believe, so let's go on up to level three of the tower, or the castle, I guess. These guys are working me. This crystal thing is tough. Let me see what I have. Items. Oh, so the purple scroll reveals items on the map, I guess. Kind of interesting. Oh, okay. The gray ring heals me, I guess. Not sure. Power up ring. Oh, this is the blizzard ring. Maybe I can kill this little thing here. Yeah, this is not going well. This might be the end of my run right here. Because these guys are working me. That's it. Is that it? That's it. 
I did not have the weapons to deal with them. And that's a game over. So, we made it to level 3 out of, I don't know how many levels there are. I want to say like 40 something in the game. And uh, that's your game over screen. Some vis visitors come and visit your, um, your grave. And that's uh, Fatal Labyrinth, so that did not take long at all. That was a pretty terrible run. I've had some good ones, but that was not a good one. Um, okay, so that's a little bit of Fatal Labyrinth. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. I'd like to play some more of this at some point. Anyway, this is Jerry Klein signing off.